Hey everybody, Acid Rain 64 here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. In the last part, we collected some things, and we were we were about to enter the fifth dungeon of the Dark World, which is the Ice Palace. But after a very annoying and failed recording, I have decided that I'm going to do the next dungeon first, and. That is because, um, or my reasoning for that is, for the next dungeon, you you don't really need the item that you would get in the fifth dungeon, um, but the item that you get in the sixth dungeon will greatly help out in the fifth dungeon, as I learned uh, through the failed recording. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out the sixth dungeon first, um, and I, I cheated a little bit. I actually watched uh, a speed run of that dungeon. And the person completed it in like five minutes. So, um, I am going to attempt to do that as well. Now, to actually get to the sixth uh, Dark World dungeon, you actually need the bird here. Or the duck, whatever he's supposed to be. Because you have to teleport to the sixth point down here in the lower left. And that puts you right here on top of these rocks. And there is a portal. And you also need the Titan's Mitt. So you do have to do the fourth dungeon before you go you come to the sixth dungeon at least so once we've got that welcome to misery mire Ugh, what a nasty place uh, first thing we can do is right over here in this cave there is actually a heart piece you can get and we want to make sure that we get this real quick um, you can you could get this after you complete the dungeon it's not really something you have to get now um, and that is actually the 21st heart piece. There's only three more left in the game. There is another heart piece we can actually get in this area, but we're gonna get that on the way out of here. Um, and then the final two heart pieces are on Dark Death Mountain, which we haven't really explored yet. All right, we haven't really explored it all that much. And to actually get into the dungeon, you actually need the Aether Medallion. So you wanna make sure you pick that up as well. So as long as you have the Titan's Mitt, the, the Duck, and the Aether Medallion, then you can come to Misery Mire. You don't need anything from the fifth dungeon. In fact, the fifth dungeon, the item that you actually get from that dungeon is just um, essentially an armor upgrade, which isn't a bad thing, and it does really help in this dungeon, but you don't need it. And honestly, it's gonna help you a hell of a lot if you can just, um, do this dungeon first. Um, oh my gosh. So now we got whiz robes. And these uh, enemies are really annoying. Like you can only hit them. You only get a few seconds to hit them. So you have to make sure that they're not going to hit you first. And then you can um, get a hit on them. Luckily I, I think they only appear in these last few dungeons. And that's it. Okay so here's basically what we're going to do. We're going to get ourselves the big key, the dungeon item, and then head to the boss. Just like any other dungeon, uh, we're not going to trifle around with the compass or the map or any of that. We're just going to do what we need to do to get those uh, two essential items and then get uh, to the boss. So basically, we grab that key in there, and the reason we want to do that is because... Um, the door that leads to the big key is down here in the lower left of this big room. And you need a key to get it. So pretty much once you get to this point, you just follow this area until you get to the big key. And then you're all set, I think. Um, I know there's another key that we want to grab. And I think this thing has it right here. Yes, okay. And I don't think... Shit, I hope I don't regret what I just did. Okay, no, this is the right room. All right. Yes, this all looks very familiar. Which is a good thing. Oh, man, and this dungeon also has slugs that poop out bombs, which is disgusting, and I don't know how that would work physically. Um, maybe its intestines produce uh, bombs instead of poo? I don't know. That just seems kind of crazy actually okay so here we have to hit some, some torches um, the best thing to do is hit those two with your lamp 
And then you can kind of cheat this right here and just use the fire rod. So we'll do that. And that's going to activate something in the next room. And let's go ahead, as soon as the screen stops shaking and causing that graphical glitch, if anyone can actually see that. Okay, that was a really long rumble. But that leads to this room. I set fire to the four torches to open the way forward. Okay. Well, we've already done that, so we'll fall down here. And we get ourselves the big key. Now, um, we need to head to the boss. And actually, I'm feeling kind of dumb here, because I don't remember if it's the lower right uh, or, or here. That could work just as well. Uh, uh, okay. Actually, I don't know why the person in the speed one, they went back to the big room after that, and I don't know why. But hey, I, I'm actually not complaining. Because this puts us right here at the boss. Pretty much. So let's run all the way down here, down to this room. And now we're in a big dark room. So, we need a key. We need a key. Maybe. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? We didn't even get the big... <laughs> we didn't even get the dungeon item yet. That's why the person went back up to the big room. Crap. Well, that actually makes a lot of sense, but... How did I not... Okay. Now I'm gonna be a little lost here. But that's okay, because I think if we just take this door... And then... Come this way... Yes, I think this puts us right back here at the big room. Or maybe we'll get a run around. Holy shit. Well, I kind of screwed up there. But that's okay. Um, that gives us a key. Okay, sorry about that. I was doing really good there for a while, and then I kind of just botched it. Alright. I'm going to hit that real quick. And then we're going to go this way. And I don't know... Okay, where are you going to take me? Please take me out of this hell. Uh, magic cape time? I think so. Okay. And where does down here put me? Oh, damn it. Now I'm lost. I'm lost! No, I'm not anymore. It's all good. Uh, but I think we gotta go to the lower right. Because I think that's where the person went. After that. What is this? A key? Well, I guess I could take that just in case. Okay, can I even actually get out of this? Yeah, I can. And I hate how those things can shoot, like, a floor above them. It makes no sense to me. Okay, and that guy's just hanging around there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, lower right. Yes, yes, this is it, this is it. Okay, so now we're back on the right track. Because the, uh, uh, the dungeon item is actually in this room here. Okay, here we go. We get the Cade of Samaria. All right, so now we're back on track. Um, where's this key gonna take me? Oh, there's a map. Okay, that puts us back out here. So, at this point, we just need to work our way back to um, where I was. And I reckon we could actually just go ahead and backtrack the, the accidental way that I went instead of going back around that way. And I'm actually okay with that, as long as it doesn't throw me off. Oh shit, I can't go back that way. Oh wait, was that the way I came? I thought it was. Maybe it was. Okay, so lower left we go again. So. Um, wasn't this way. It was this left passage right here. 
and then we went down and through this room with the pooping slugs. Okay, so we got it. We got it. But the bad thing is, is that I'm almost out of health, which is not very good. I do got fairies, though, and maybe we'll run into an anti-fairy. And I don't really think I have to hit all those torches again. No. Okay. All right, we got this. Let's just head for the boss now. So that wasn't too bad of a run, if I do say so myself. I just kind of messed that up there at the end. But that's okay. All right, and then we'll, we'll head north from here. Teleport to this right here. And full boss time, pretty much. All right, so that cane of Samaria that we got, um, you could actually use it, and it sits down a block. And then with that block, you can actually... Uh, wait, was it right here? Yeah. Let's see, you can you can set a block, and it acts just like any other block. And uh, let's see, you can actually use a block, and then if you use a cane again, it, it shoots out beams. And that's kind of nice. I mean, I don't ever, I've never seen a use for the beams, but um, I reckon it could be convenient if you needed to um, hit a switch or something like that. But in my opinion, there's so many better um, long-range weapons that you could use, but it's all good. Okay, so then we got to dodge that spiky, and I, I've never gone through that without hit, taking a hit. But that is okay, I reckon. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, guys. Oh, don't tell me I have to go back and hit a switch. Okay, there's one up here. Thank goodness. I was about to actually be pretty upset if I had to do that. See, they're pulling the switch thing here, and they actually do that in the next dungeon as well. So here we can actually bomb this wall. And actually, while I'm here, we don't really need magic for the boss. So I'm not concerned with using magic here. Okay, but now we gotta hit that. And then we can come through this door. And, okay, I'm not sure if we have to hit that again or not. I really hope not, because I don't want to come back through this room. Yes, we do, I should have known. Okay, and we still have those jelly bean creatures, which are kind of weird. Oh, and I missed. The jelly beans. Okay. And I think after we complete the uh, the dungeon after this, the fifth dungeon, we can actually go and upgrade our shield again. But anywho, for now, we are going to fight the sixth dungeon boss, Vitreus. And basically what he's gonna do is he's gonna send his eyeballs after you. Oh crap, they do four hearts of damage. Oh, and he can also shock you. Okay, so this is actually a thing where the blue be able to actually come in handy. But all you gotta do is stand down here, keep spamming your sh sword. Okay, and watch to where he starts to like turn white. Cause that's when he's gonna do that attack. Okay. So then the easy part comes. He's just gonna jump out, you smack him with your sword. And this is pretty much the boss fight. This is actually kind of sad. Oh, there we go, we hit him twice, sweet. Okay. I guess if he really wanted to, you could use the cane of uh, Birna, because I don't think he would be able to hurt you. But anyways, we have defeated Vitreus, and we got ourselves our fifth uh, crystal. We should have six uh, by the time we came to this dungeon, but since we skipped the fifth dungeon for now, we only have five crystals. Okay, what do you have to say? Link, because of you, I can escape the, from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard Agnihem as his pawn, he drew us to the dark world. 
After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on your getting this far. Now, Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way the hero lead to the Triforce. Okay. Alright, and so with that, we have completed Misery Mire, which doesn't seem so misery-like anymore since it stopped raining and thundering. Uh, but there is another heart piece we can get here, and we're going to go ahead and get that real quick. Uh, there we have a fairy if we needed her, but we don't actually need her. Um, let's see. Uh, where is this heart piece? Is it over here? It might actually be over here. What's this guy say? Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Uh, don't want to hear it. Yeah, don't want to hear your story. It's probably something I, um, already know. I think he actually mentions the, the thief. Maybe. Um, I don't believe this is where the heart piece is. And this could actually be a problem. Um, I think what I actually need to do is teleport to the light world somewhere. So, I think it's up here in this top corner. And I'm just going off of, off of the memory that I had of that uh, heart piece video that I made. And I think the last, one of the last heart pieces was in the light world here. Okay, so we got a stone. That's a good sign. Alright. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, but we have this block puzzle, which... Uh, I think if we just do... Something like this... There we go. Not that hard. And now there's only two hard pieces left in the game. Um, okay. So that's going to be it for this part. Uh, I'm sorry that I kind of messed up that speed run. I was thinking it was going to go a lot smoother. But at least now we can go to the fifth dungeon and complete that with no problem at all. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this part, please feel free to subscribe and do all that good stuff. And next next time on Let's Play Let's Out a Link to the Past, we will go back and take care of that fifth Dark World dungeon. And then we will go from there. So I will see you guys then.